In this video we will see how to add a global contrast to a photo using a module called the tone equalizer and I hope you notice that the sound is better in this video um, I have added a microphone to my equipment let's get back to these three pictures then and we'll start with the picture of the bee so if I double click on that we find the picture that we already modified in the first episodes but this time I want to add some contrast to the photo so there is a module that does that which is called the tone equalizer which is in the second tab here if you are using the workflow scene referred menus here which I highly recommend the tone equalizer is here let's switch it on and have a look what happens what's happening so I have on from left to right um, from left to right I have tones from dark to light and vertically from the bottom to the top tones as well from dark to light and here I have a curve which is flat which is leaving everything as it is in, in uh, it, well, corresponding to this mid gray but really it, this is the zero it just means if I look on the right here zero plus one plus two zero minus one minus two which is closer to the truth of what is really happening zero means I'm not changing anything and these numbers at the top zero minus one minus two minus three correspond to the exposures on the photo so zero will be the brightest um, the brightest point of the curve that I can actually change and everything going backwards minus one minus two darker and darker down to minus eight so what is this histogram here it is not the histogram of the actual photo it is the histogram of a mask because this um, module is a bit more complicated to understand get your head around than the others we've already used this uh, module actually works through um, an intermediate mask um, and the mask I'm displaying is here which gives us um, a picture in uh, grey tones in black and white which is slightly blurred you can see some details but it's a bit, it's a bit fuzzy and what essentially what's going to happen is that if I modify the exposure of one of the tones let's say a middle grey here then I will modify the exposure of all the middle tones in the photo which have this tone which is uh, if you have a look minus 1.8 EV which is written on the photo and you can see on the histogram just before minus two so this area corresponds to the white point that's lit up if I go to the top of the flower here which maybe I'd like to brighten then I'm at minus 0.5 so really I'm on the first one zero if I want to uh, make this area brighter then I need to move that point which is on the right of the curve here this one here that it was showing me and etc etc everywhere around if we go to the darkest areas at minus 2.4 the darkest area on the photo would be this point at minus 3 so the thing we need to understand right away is that if my histogram is only in between minus 3 and 0 then all the nodes that correspond to nothing on the histogram will have absolutely no effect on the photo and I'll show you that later um, so that's the idea of how it works now let's see in reality how it works so there are two ways to use the module the little target will tell me where I am on the histogram um, that corresponds to the target and I can with the mouse wheel just gently with the mouse wheel I can brighten that area there and as you can see there's quite a few parts of the picture that are changing that area is getting brighter and what's happening is that this area here is getting brighter and I'll already find that other areas that are similarly bright will get brighter too well not only those because if you see I was moving this zero point here up and down and the points that are attached to it are moving at the same time because um, there is a mathematical curve here that goes through all the points which makes sure that the transitions are smooth and making sure transitions are smooth is the best way to avoid halos and to avoid that artifact so um, that is one uh, that is one way it works there's no uh, point in just 
moving up some very localized uh, pixels based on their brightness because that will make some strange artifacts around just look weird so okay so I've just brightened that flower there um, if I want to darken other areas the darkest point is down here minus 2.3 so I can move move the mouse wheel or I can come and select the point here darken those and as you can see I am adding quite a lot of contrast to the photo um, and I can show you if I move a point here there we are I'll move that up move it down there's nothing happening in the picture because there are no tones in the picture with this brightness on the histogram there are many many ways to change modify this mask um, there is a masking tab here with different methods to make the mask different options I will do a tutorial on this uh, tone equalizer later and I'll show you how all this masking works I think for the first time we use it I think that the main idea is to I'll just reset it have a look uh, when you switch it on if the mask looks okay and I'll show you a mask that isn't and if that's okay then just go for it just change the tones um, and do the transformations there um, I will show you now um, another example which is a bit more problematic um, so I want to change I'll show you the film strip um, how to navigate it I'm in the dark room and I don't want to go back to the light room to change photo and I can do that if I do control F then the film strip will appear underneath there and I can navigate from one photo to another in the film strip so it's it's not left and right arrow keys as, as you'd expect it is backspace to move back a photo and space to move forward a photo um, you don't have to have the film strip enabled so I'll do control F get rid of that backspace and move to the dog um, the tone equalizer here uh, for this photo if I switch it on you will notice um, that I have sorry I'll reset that I think I must have touched on it before so reset it this is how the tone equalizer looks when I reset it and can I get that mask back okay so I have a look no there it's back so when I switch this on I have a warning here an orange warning which means that there's a problem with the mask I can't really do a good job with the tone equalizer if the mask has a warning now what is this warning it's warning me that there are some overexposed um, the overexposed tones on the mask if I have a look well, I know where the overexposed tones are they are here at the top and if you look here I'm at plus 1.5 EV so I'm over the zero and the module cannot cope with tones that are over zero so I have two solutions for that um, it does happen uh, so either I go to masking I risk playing around here and I have here the stretch of the uh, histogram which goes the zero is there and I have quite a few tones over zero and the orange warning which is there I do have a contrast um, compensation and an exposure compensation it's the exposure compensation I'm going to move to the left bring the histogram back into a working area and if I go back to advance now the histogram is fine um, there's no automated way to do that you just need to see if you can manage to get the histogram back um, what I'd like to do with this is darken the front part of the dog's body here which is in the shade which looks a bit too bright to me and that if I look is at minus 2.2 EV on this dot here so I'm going to darken that a little bit and it darkens quite a bit of the photo we can have a look at the mask if you want to see how blurry it is there are some details which are kept but mainly uh, in the softer areas I have very very smooth transitions and that will prevent any artifacts any haloing when I uh, change the tone the tone values in the photo I would like to brighten the background a little bit and if you look the background 
is very close in tone to the part of the dog I want to um, darken. So here, to make sure, what I, do, what I do is if I move very slowly, just one point and the other, then I can actually make a curve appear. Now I don't want to brighten this point here because this point here at zero is already a place which is a little bit overexposed. Uh, I could have actually brought the mass compensation down a little bit more. It would have been easier. But in what I'd like to do is something a little bit like this. So if I switch that off and on and off and on, I have added quite a bit of contrast to the to the picture and um, adding contrast um, and choosing the areas that is important like dodging and burning I've chosen the areas that I wanted to brighten and darken so I do have much more control using this method than if I just had a contrast slider which you just crank up to the maximum and then the picture gets contrasty uh, but you, you haven't controlled you don't know what you're doing it just looks good or doesn't and that's it this is much easier to control um, I'll show you the easiest way now now we've done the difficult parts if you have um, a warning sign and you don't want to mess around with the mask there are actually some presets I could have started with the presets but uh, let's do the presets at the end uh, either on this menu or right click somewhere on the histogram here um, some uh, well made presets here that come with the uh, with the program compress shadow highlights which is the opposite of what I wanted to do and in this case it will actually build a histogram it will choose its own masking system make a histogram and the tone curve so that preset completely made uh, compress a bit less that's soft and compress strong which is probably looking horrible uh, if I want to um, add a tone curve so adding a tone curve means adding contrast there we are I have a slight uh, adjustment of contrast what I would do in this case is make sure that these points here the top point is not clipping so I would actually manually bring this down so I would use the preset maybe and adjust it later um, so strong tone curve and the one I want to show you, there are lots, you can experiment with those. The last one is the simple tone curve. Now this is the easiest option. If um, the histogram you've got on the photo is not convenient, if it doesn't look like what you want to look, it to look like, like, and I don't know if you're lost, go to the simple tone curve. The advantage is that it will build a histogram automatically. Um, the inconvenient, the disadvantage is that what it's actually doing to build the mask is just converting the picture to black and white. So there's no blurring at all. And if there's no blurring, it means that um, I have to be a little bit more careful with the adjustments to avoid any um, any haloing, any artifacts. So that's the histogram disappeared for a moment there came back when I clicked on a note. So here I just have a histogram of the image. Um, the same one. It is exactly the same one but this is in luminosity and here I have three, the three channels. So I can actually choose this area at minus 2.6. Bring that down. These areas at minus 0.9. I'm going to push those up a little bit. Try and make an S curve. Just by massaging this, pushing a little bit, making sure it's smooth. And there I have, switch it off and on a more natural contrasty image there to work with. So that's the tone equalizer. Just before finishing I'd like to show you why I haven't used this simple tab. Now this simple tab in my view anyway is something you want to avoid. Let's reset that completely. I'm going to re actually reset it there. Um, so go back to simple to tone curve there. If I go to simple, you think this is easier because um, if I want to move uh, this fur here at minus 2.7, well I'll get maybe the slider at minus 2 or minus 3 and just make that darker. There. The problem is, I'm actually not 
moving the other points uh, minus 2 and minus 4 so I'm not getting smooth transitions if I take that really right the way down you see what's happening and that is looking really really bad I'd have to manually kind of get these to transition nicely and even then it's not that easy and try and make my own S curve I don't know it's not looking good anyway it never looks good um, if I put that to zero let's try just to show you what's happening really why is it looking so bad if I move minus three then we know that we're getting a mathematical curve which has to link all these points here and this one and from minus eight to zero this is the mathematical curve that's been worked out which is very wobbly it's just math so there's nothing to do about that the only curve which will actually follow all these points properly and get down there and up again in a smooth way is this one and it does not look good um, all these wobbles are really strange these two points have been left behind so it's actually not going through these points it's doing its best but it's anyway there we are I think I'll stop there it's, it's not working reset that double click reset simple term curve up a little bit there down a little bit there and you're fine and you're good to go so that is the um, the tone equalizer very powerful tool very complex if you want to go into the masking to get exactly um, what you're looking for it, you use it for dodging and burning adding removing contrast um, it's a brilliant tool so there we are and I'll um, see you next time where I think I'll explain how to uh, sharpen your photos a little bit I think that's missing now after everything we've done see you later